A couple of days ago, we lost one of the giants of English rock music. Good pal of mine, Gary Brooker. Totally unique voice, totally recognisable as soon as you heard it. A wonderful different style of music that he helped create with his band Progal Harum a long time ago. But when you hear those records today, they are so wonderfully perfect and so different. I had a great pleasure of being on stage with Gary um, just before the pandemic hit in 2020. He'd arranged an amazingly big benefit show at the O2 Arena. Sold out, 16,000 something people. Well, why wouldn't it be? He'd got some of his best friends to come and do it. Eric Clapton, Tom Jones, Van Morrison, Bonnie Tyler, Paul Young. Uh, uh, it just went on and on and on. And I had the, the privilege of playing in the house band behind all these great artists. Uh, and in that one night, he raised over a million pounds for the Marsden Hospital. That's some, something. But the first time I met him would have been before Progal Harum. It would have been, I suppose, 60 five, maybe 66. And it wasn't Progal Horror them, it was the Paramounts. And the Paramounts weren't a big band, but they were a band that we on the touring circuit, we sort of knew because everybody said how good they were. Anyway, we turned up for a show, can't remember where it was now, but it was some, something connected with a hospital, it was a nurse's home or something and they had a big dance. And when we got there, we found another band setting up their equipment. Well, this used to happen quite a lot in the old days. So many bands used to just not turn up that the promoters and the little local agents would sometimes double book in the hope that one, one band would show up. Anyway, the Paramounts were there before us and they were setting up. So we realised that uh, we were not going to get the gig that night. Well, we've gone all that way, so it seems silly not to take the opportunity to, to see this band work. And it was obvious from the first couple of minutes, and they were far better than we were at that point in time, that's for sure. But that voice, it just came through loud and clear. And this is a time before we had sophisticated PAs. It was very brutal the sound you know it's uh, uh, a lot of a uh, lot of wattage and not a lot of sophistication but Gary's voice just saw, shone through and uh, I remember it to this day it was so impressive he also did so many things so many charity events benefit jobs uh, you know it's, it's fine most of us show up for two or three of them but he was always available for these things and always helped out. And back in 2009, he helped my wife Jackie with one of her Sunflower Jam events and he did it a couple of years later as well. And now he's gone. And apart from the recordings, I never get to say hi to him again and never hear that wonderful voice live again. And that really is something to be missed. Gary, what, what, a, what an artist and what a nice man.